The principal suspect in the killing of an octogenarian couple in Quezon City has been arrested. Police believe the suspect was under the influence of illegal drugs when he committed the crime. Bear Bernardo tells us more. The suspect in the killing of an elderly couple in Valiches last May 26 is now in the custody of the Quezon City Police District or QCPD. The suspect, Carl Joseph Baniola, was arrested during an operation in Calaocan City. Baniola, who delivers eggs for Nicolas and Leonor Austria, stabbed the victims to death. According to the suspect, it was not his intention to kill the victims, though he admitted of committing the crime. <laughs> The victims made a positively identified the suspect as the one who hit her, causing her head fractures. The maid is currently recovering in the hospital. NCRPO Chief Police Major General Guillermo Eliasar can't help but feel dismayed after what happened. According to Eleazar, the suspect was using drugs. Ito yung sinasabi ng ating presidente na itong problema natin sa illegal na droga ay nanganganak ng sangkaterbang krimen. Banyola was in the Caloacan drug watch list and the authorities are still looking for other related cases linked to him. In line with this, the police are encouraging the public to cooperate with them to arrest drug suspects. More than 70,000 drug personalities had been arrested in Metro Manila. The crime rate decreased to 57% in Metro Manila since President Rodrigo Duterte took office. According to Eleazar, they still need to strengthen their operation against illegal drugs and criminality. Kahit naman nasa watchlist ka, eh kung, kung wala naman tayong ebidensya anuhan, we cannot just arrest them. Kailan natin ng case build up. Yun yung ating uh, accounting, uh, sinasabi natin, accounting... A handicap, kaya we need the, the support, cooperation of the public to, to help us to run after these uh, would-be criminals. NCRPO chief showed support in bringing back the death penalty in the country. This is to protect the public against heinous crimes like merciless killings. Bea Bernardo for The Nation.